All right, so I was just coming upstairs to my favorite napping spot and was about to jump on the bed. You may notice one corner is slightly pulled up and there's a little lump down here. Let's see who is alive under the lump. I see you, Krista. What are you doing, girl? Oh, hey, it's okay. Krista, you don't have to be scared. Sorry I disturbed your nap. It's a great spot, yo. This is where I nap all the time. Hey guys, Drifter here. My wife has always wanted a cat, and I don't really like cats, so we compromised and got a cat. We somewhat impulsively adopted an 11-year-old Torby cat from the Plano Animal Shelter named Krista. She came already declawed, house-trained, people-friendly, and dog friendly which is very important for us and just kind of very friendly in general my wife has always wanted a cat we couldn't have one while ozzy was here and now that he has passed uh boomy loves cats and gets along with them great we'll talk about that in a moment uh she did a little research and found this cat at the animal shelter that seemed to have every like friendly checkbox checked and ready to go friendly around basically everything and that turned out to be true. Uh, the paperwork we got said it might take the cat three months to be seen comfortably and three years to be comfortable. But within 24 hours of adopting Krista, she was already sleeping on my chest or in my feet or bonking my head to tell me to go get food in the morning and things like that. So it's been a very fast and positive adjustment. Krista is a very intelligent animal. Uh, she knows a lot of English words and seems to have some ability to have a minor conversation or at least understand broad phrases for things if I tell her to do things or not to do things or tell her how long something's going to last. So she's kind of like Ozzy was in that way, a pretty bright animal, but that's kind of the way I like it. I do have a fun paranormal story about Krista, but I'm going to save that for a later YouTube short. And I want to say the reason that we got her, other than just being impulsive, it wasn't a replacement for Ozzy, but rather we wanted a friend for Boomy because he's very sick and at the time we thought Boomy only had a year or two left to live. And Boomy loves cats. I don't know why he loves cats. I don't know if he was raised around cats before. He's not aggressive toward them. He doesn't chase them, but he just loves cats. So we got the pet cat hoping that that would be a friend until the end for Boomy. And they do get along pretty well. And Boomy is much happier now that she's here. It's not quite in the obsessive kind of way you normally see dogs stalking cats or all up in their business. He seems very content just to have a friendly animal in the house. He checks her out cautiously. They do play a little bit, but it's very infrequent. Most of the time, they're very comfortable giving each other space. Neither one has fought the other one over food or shown signs of aggression or, or any such thing. With one exception, Boomy loves to eat cat poop. As I turned out, cat poop is a very high tier treat for dogs because it's filled with protein and he goes nuts for that kind of stuff. But even though it's supposed to be for Boomy, Krista's kind of turning into a pet for me because she mostly hangs out on the bed all day and I'm still a little bit worse for wear and I'm kind of laid up. So uh, Krista usually comes and sits down beside me so I can pet her while watching videos on the phone or she just sits on my head because maybe my head is too cold. I'm not exactly sure how cat logic works, but the cat that was originally supposed to be for my wife and maybe for Boomy is rapidly turning into the cat for me, but I guess that's only fair since it was my impulsive decision to go get the cat as a surprise for my wife anyway. So uh, my wife's friends bought us a giant cat tree and a cat pineapple and cat toys and treats and uh, they're all cat people. It was really weird. We adopted the animal and I think everybody I knew that owned a cat was like, welcome to the cat family, the cat club. There was like this whole cat community and they were all giving gifts and it was very wholesome. Uh, Krista enjoys them very thoroughly, so I'm grateful for that. And uh, we're still going to be doing pet videos and things like that here. I might make some cat videos in the future if I learn how to. I still don't know how to handle these animals very well or very safely. They do have murder mittens and very sharp teeth. They tend not to like to be picked up. I can actually pick up Krista fine. She's That's not an issue, but... Uh, I don't know, I just don't want to get bit, so I don't want to roughhouse with her. I don't want to do little pranks and things like we used to do with Ozzy and Boomy, because she's she is a cat. She is still a little bit more skittish. And as one little side note here for the end of this video, cat litter is disgusting. Oh my god, I thought it was a clean, safe, normal solution for pooping in the house, but it is really, really gross. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but I guess I'll be scooping poop for the next decade or two until she croaks. So... Uh, that's all for this video. Just wanted to give you guys a little update, let you know that we got a new pet in the household and that there may be cat videos coming in the future if I can get her to do cute things or pose in front of green screen, though that's going to take a bit of work. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.